Yo, yo, y'all know what it is, what it do, man. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's get into this. Now, I got something here that I'm going to show y'all about this KVD shit that y'all need to know. I told y'all KVD was lying. I got the proof right here that he's lying. I found the video, like I told y'all. How in, the, how in the world Orlando Anderson is going to fight Tupac with his arm in the sling? That's the first lie. So let's get into it. Well, you you and, and Orlando and everyone else meets up. Uh, but you guys don't have any guts. Who said that? Well, it was in the book. Until uh, Zip, Von Zip, came in the picture. All right, let's, uh, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, but, I mean, but it isn't. So, now you just him contradict itself. He said, who said we didn't have guns? So if y'all had guns, why y'all need to go get a gun for somebody else? Look. Okay, yeah. Let them read about it. Okay. And I guess Foxy Brown was with Zip? Let them read about it. Okay. Well, according to the book, uh, you know, which there's gonna be a link in the video that you can actually order from. That's right. Let me, let me matter of fact, let me see my book. You want to show the book? Yeah, yeah, let's show the book. Yeah, this is my book here. Uh, I would like to, you guys to buy it and get the real truth instead of from a cop or some fucking uh, industry people, some bullshit. You can get it from the real motherfucker. So go get the book, you know, and you can get the real truth about this whole situation. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and read from the book, the uh, passage. Of, uh, uh, on getting a gun for the two pocket. While we were waiting for the valley to bring out our cars, Zip seized the opportunity and called, called me over to his bends. Zip was a big time New York player, pimp, and hustler. He used to come out to California and handle his business and kick it with us sometimes. As I walked up to the driver's side and noticed the rapper Foxy Brown was in the car with Zip. So he instructed her to step out of the car and motion for me to jump in. Zip had a hidden compartment and he opened up, reached in and pulled back a, a 40 clock. I was gonna say, he turned to me and said, it's time to get the money. I was gonna say, get your $20 and read about that part. <laughs> well, you initially wanted to go talk to Shug about the whole situation. Yeah, yeah. We, we was, uh, I felt we was on that type of level where we can just get this shit squashed, get a head up, and stuff like that. We're So, my thing to you, PPD, what changed your mind? What changed your mind from going to talk and work the situation out to shooting a dude? You know what I'm saying? Let's keep going. You wanted to meet up with Shug, but you had no way of getting in contact with him. Yeah, one of my homies from uh, out there uh, live out. We had some homies live out there. Yeah. I was kind of in the game. And they like uh they put have uh they put have a concert at the six six two club. So right. we went up there. which was Shook's club. Yeah, we went up there. I heard about that. Yeah. So you guys you guys went over there, but there was a bunch of cops and everything in the event. And no, uh, well there wasn't. No, there wasn't no cops. We were there for about 30, 40 minutes in the back parking lot. Okay, but you never went in. Yeah, you know, I, I seen where Mob James said he seen us in the back parking lot. I just, I tripped me off. Were you in Vegas? Yeah, you yeah, were. I was in 662. I was running the club at the time. Right. Reggie Wright was there, but I was doing the door. So, how you want to squabble and fight when the next interview you did, you said your nephew's arm was in the sling. So, how can you fight when your nephew's arm is in the sling? So, let's get to that, right? Let's get to that. All of that, right? And your brother Buntry was there as well. Buntry was at the fight. Yeah. He went to the fight with him. Um, yeah, we've been getting into this. We, we, we've been to play, we've been to play detective without playing detective. Right now. Right now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, uh, the incident at the MGM. When, 
uh, Orlando. Now, this interview say five months ago. I thought it was a year ago, but I was wrong. The first one you heard was four years ago. Now, this one was five posted five months ago, back in April 2023. Who got jumped? Yeah, I, what I didn't realize is that he actually got so hurt that he had to go to the hospital. Yeah. So, was his shoulder fucked up or something like that? Yeah, shoulder fucked up. I think the shoulder. So, was it like dislocated? Or? Dislocated, yeah. Oh, okay, so his shoulder got dislocated. Yeah. And he went to the hospital in Vegas. Yeah. And what did they do? They put it back into the side. They put it up. Uh, yeah, it's running on his arm. Okay. I don't that's just painful as hell. How yeah. your shoulder dislocated and pop back. They kicked it up. Yeah. Okay, so my thing is this. Y'all weren't going looking for no fight then because... He ain't recovered that fast. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. Use y'all common sense. Y'all think that man recovered that fast? No, he didn't. He did not recover that fast. That man did not want to fight. I don't know where KVD got that from when he said it the first time, but then this time he changed the story. I believe he said the same thing on our dialogue. This man is a liar. What he's saying is not credible. Y'all do not listen to these niggas. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all keep, you know, uh, worshiping these niggas, you know, looking up to these niggas. These niggas are liars. These niggas ain't who they say they are. They just as bad as the fucking white man, dude. So I don't know, you know, I don't even know what to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all here for y'all self, you know? How was the man want to meet, talk, and want to try to, you know, have a one-on-one -on -one when his man arm is fucked up? Think about that. Just think about that for a minute. You're not going to go... And fight somebody when your arm is fucked up. So the natural probably thing would to do is to probably shoot shoot the motherfucker. You can't, you know what I'm saying? But how can you hold a gun cocky with one hand? I don't get it. You can't cock that weapon with one hand unless KVD did it for him or Big Drake when he passed the gun. But you can't cock it with one hand. If this arm is in the sling, it ain't healed that fast, buddy. It ain't that. It ain't healed that fast from the time you got jumped. To maybe the hour, two, three, you spend in the hospital. Because everybody knows when you go through that emergency room, you're at least going to be in that hour, two, sometimes four to five, six hours. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all been in there. Y'all know what it's like in some of these emergency rooms. It ain't like, you know, you're going to get in and get right out. You know, so, yeah, the doctor probably popped his shoulder in, told him to wait a few minutes. Probably gave him some pain pills, you know, to take. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that takes an effect. You ain't going to be 100% in 30 minutes to an hour. You know, maybe three to four hours, you might start feeling a little better, but you're not going to be a top notch. You're not going to be ready to shoot. So this is what I'm saying, man. Y'all stop listening to these niggas. These niggas ain't shit, as you can see. None of them ain't shit. They stink. They don't wash up. You niggas follow them. You niggas ain't got no jobs. You niggas ain't got no lives. You niggas don't do nothing. But run around here, run up under these females. Y'all want to kiss these girls' ass, eat their asshole out, and try to live off a woman because you can't do for yourselves. These are your idols. These are the people you look up to. These type of people. This man here on the screen, Kiffy D. That's who y'all look up to. That's who y'all want to be like. So go on out there and be like that. Go on out there and be trash. Don't be shit. You know what I'm saying? Stop wasting no motherfuckers' time, though. You know, we got real shit to do. You know what I'm saying? We ain't getting on these cameras and... You know, talking this shit, knowing we ain't got full immunity for these charges that we got. You know what I'm saying? You got to be the most stupidest motherfucker to get on here and tell two, three different stories. He don't even know which way is up. Listen to this shit. He don't even know which way is up. Oh, where did that come from? You put it in the book, dummy. That's where it came from. You don't even know what you wrote. Did somebody tell you to write that, KVD? Tell the truth, man. Did somebody tell you to write that? Somebody had to tell that nigga to write that because ain't no way in the world... A motherfucker gonna sit here and just tell two different lies like that. Well, we was going to look for him to talk and to fight. My nephew arm dislocated. So the natural thing, like I said, y'all could be going to talk, but you ain't going to fight. Yo, I'm fucked up. You ain't going to fight and do nothing. Y'all name me one person who went out there and tried to fight with their arm, shoulder fucked up, arm, anything in the casket, sling, anything. Y'all name me one person. They out there swinging one hand, they out there fighting. They ain't raising that mother motherfucker up trying to get it re injured. You got to be crazy. That's what I'm saying, man. These niggas be telling all kind of stories. I just want y'all to listen to these niggas real good. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all heard it for yourself. 
Let me know what y'all think about this shit. Do y'all still believe Keefe D is telling the truth about everything? Or do y'all think he's lying now? Because right there, them two videos I just showed y'all, he's lying. He's lying. That man didn't want to fight. Ain't no way in hell that man want to fight after getting his shoulder uh, put back in place. That don't even sound right. These niggas sound stupid. That's why I hate this, this gang banging shit. This gang banging shit is fuck everything up. Fuck a gang. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that shit. Oh man, how you talking about that? You from Chicago. Nigga, I fuck these motherfuckers here too. I don't give a damn about none of them. Ain't none of them feeding me. They ain't doing nothing for my family. All it is is drama. And all other kids want to be like these motherfuckers. So. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't got no sympathy. I ain't got no remorse for these people, man. For real. That's real talk. I'm a hustler. Let's keep going, man. You know, yeah, he fucked the shoulder out of the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fucked him up, yeah. He kind of fucked him up. Not, not when he was a kid, man. That was wrong. How old was he at the time? He was like 19, man. Oh, he was a teenager at the time. Yeah, a kid, man. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought he was a little bit older. He was 19, 20, and tw uh, 19, 20. He probably just turned 20. Right. He was a fucking like, kid, dude. Like six, seven home. people jumped on him. Yeah, he couldn't even buy liquor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Sugar was doing the kicking. Yeah, well. him, him and uh, Punk, uh, Punch, 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 yeah. Punch, yeah. Yeah, and Tupac, of course. Yeah. I ran track against Punch, we wouldn't even ran for Wendy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys knew each other. Huh? You guys knew each other. Yeah, he, uh, he ran. He ran track for Wayne. He ran the third relay leg, and I ran the third relay leg. We used to be so far ahead, I used to get the baton. See you later, buddy. You know what I'm saying? They, oh, Wayne was kind of slow. We always had the fastest track team with Roseville Junior I did. I ran against, uh, yeah. Then, then the next year, I ran in 3.30 against him. Yeah, so let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment so section, man. I see some of y'all be watching this. You know, I see some of y'all be rocking me, rocking with me, man. But y'all never subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe to the channel. Fuck with your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all believe this nigga's story, man? Did, did y'all just hear that? Tell me what y'all think about that, man. Down below in the comment section. Y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy. Bah, my.